Good morning, welcome back up to the homestead. Today I'm gonna be riding solo to the cabin. The kids are doing school, my wife is teaching them and honestly it's gonna be nice to go down there by myself and get some work done. It's kind of hard to get a lot of work done when the kids are doing this, they're doing that and then my wife's not mechanical. Bless her heart, I love her to death. Sometimes it's just easier to ride solo and get some work done and that's what I'm doing right now. My plan is to go down to headquarters. There's some ABS glue so I can start putting drains in, start bringing the lines up for the drain, and then also try and put some PEX lines in. We'll see how far I get. Anyway, let's go down there, get as much done as we can. I'm just ready to get this cabin done, honestly, because once it's done, spring's gonna be here in a couple months, and I'm starting our build, which I am crazy excited about. I'm sure you see it in my, hear it in my voice and see it in my face that I'm ready to start that thing, so and get out of that trailer. Anyway, let's go down to the cabin, get as much done as we can, and take advantage of this time by ourselves. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. All right, I'm back at the cabin. I have my cutter now, so now I can make a clean cut and not have to worry about using that that one <laughs> anyway so i have three quarter inch pecs and my plan is to let me show you so this is the water that like from the well this is where it comes out so i'm going to attach three quarter inch pecs to that and then the water heater is going to be on the other side of the trailer in the bathroom it's not a trailer it's a cabin <laughs> so i'm going to attach three quarter pecs to this one right here and just run all the way over there and then wherever i need cold water like at the sink in the kitchen, the toilet, the sink in the bathroom, shower, obviously. And so there's four spots. I'm gonna put a T, um, three quarter inch into half inch, and then run that up through the ground or through the floor. And then, I mean, it's pretty simple. So once it gets to the water heater, I'm gonna do three quarter out and then go and tee off with half inch to all the to all the spots that need hot water. Pretty simple system. But I think right now I'm just gonna run the pecs from the main, the water, where it, where it comes in, out, out of the ground, all the way over to where it's gonna go. And then I'll just start cutting and putting in all the, the tees and everything like that and running all the, the cold water lines. This stuff's a pain in the butt to route because I'm going through like a little tiny hole and it's curled up in that little spiral and it's just like super hard plastic, but I'm getting it. It's a little hard with one person. I don't have someone pulling and someone pushing, but I'm doing it. It's working. Let's continue. I got the PEX line, ran from the other side of the cabin all the way underneath, and I'm in this bathroom right now. There's the PEX line right there, and you can see it in white. The water heater we're doing, it's a tankless propane zero electricity water heater. So it pretty much looks just like the one if you have a tankless in your house, it looks identical, it's just it runs off propane. It's gonna be sitting right here. That's the toilet drain. So we're gonna put it right on the wall right here. So I need to put some, I need to put that line up through here so that it can hit into or attach plumb into the water heater. And then there'll be an underline that goes out that is obviously giving out hot water. And then we'll have to run that three quarter inch line back again to for all the hot to go where it needs to go. Sweet. So that one's ran all the way over to where the water heater's going. I'm gonna go ahead and come down here, 
cut that line and then attach those right there. Turns out I don't have the T fittings that I need to tee off with half inch, half inch pecs to where I need to go. Of course, like there's always something, right? So I'll probably pick that up tomorrow when we go into town. But for now, I'm just gonna get that three quarter line over there and then I'm gonna do the hot one as well. And that one doesn't have to go all the way across. It just goes to the island right there. So it'll just come up right there come up with hot so we'll have hot water at the kitchen sink obviously i'm gonna go put that fitting on there attach those three quarter inch lines and then on to the next thing under the house i got the hot water line ran all the way over to the water heater and here this is our last stop right here this is the kitchen sink i did find hey, where's it at three quarter to half 90 so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put this on here and shoot this half inch pex up into the floor up through the floor so that one will be ran and then i'll just like i was saying i'll pick up the other fittings that i need tomorrow I'm getting a lot done i feel like with i feel like i can get so much more done when i'm about by myself but it's like kind of harder to do because there's only one of us but or one of me anyway i'm gonna put this fitting on here and be all we can do as far as like plumbing the water lines i'm pretty sure that's all we can do right now without any more fittings but that's okay two for good luck I spent about, I don't know, three hours or so at the cabin and it is lunchtime. So I usually don't, it's Sunday, I usually don't try to do much on Sundays. It's relaxing and just kind of hang out with the family. Since the kids were trying to catch up on school, they're behind like a day or a day. I say Ricky, it's just Ricky, really. Anyway, we got all the water lines ran. We just need some teas. So I'll grab them tomorrow when we head into town. And the, the thaw has happened, it's a muddy mess. And I'm driving up back up to the property right now. We will, uh, we'll catch you guys probably tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we're waking up a little bit earlier because uh, we're gonna try to beat the thaw into town. We need to get some fittings, like I was saying yesterday. It's it's only six fifteen. It's not that early, but these guys are oh, not early for, morning for risers. Me, this is early. I do not like. And early these morning. kids are they're like wiping the stuff out of their face. <laughs> I'm up at like 5.30 every day, hanging out, drinking coffee. Anyway, we're heading into town, get some fittings, probably get some donuts. What else? That's probably, oh, dog food, we need dog food. Anyway, we're gonna run a few errands, we'll be back, and then I think we're gonna go work on the cabin. Try to get this thing done, yeah. Try to have a productive day today.
back up at the cabin. Just got back from town, we picked up the fittings we needed. We're gonna go back underneath the cabin and tee off that three quarter line to put the lines up for all the cold and the hot, wherever they need to go. And then after that, we'll see what time it is. And... Like if you find a peacock feather underneath the cabin that you might be lucky, babe. Yeah? So does that mean we're lucky? Heck yeah, we're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky you're married to me. Get it. Ugh. up into the ground. Let's go to the other side. All right, big daddy, let's go drill some holes. tea right there and put a shut off valve to hook up to the toilet. This is hot. Water heater's going right here. This will go up to that. This is where the shower hot and hot and cold are going to be. And then this is where the sink hot and cold are going to be. I still need to do the drains, but that's after we put the water lines in. Obviously, I need to fill this hole up too. All right, let's go back into the house and run these lines up and then we'll be done with like the water line side of plumbing. Right. The, the hole is right up here, and I the line is right underneath it for the cold. Totally meant to do that. <laughs> Just kidding. Popcorn. You gotta explain the premises behind that. I don't know if people know what that means. I don't know if any of you guys play the BS game, but we play the BS game all the time with the girls. And anytime that you lie and get away with it, you say, Popcorn! <laughs> just, so. Just like that. <laughs>
There we go. to bag it up shower yep all right sink is in well lines with the sink are in <laughs> yeah sink's in already we're good to go <laughs> everything's done see you guys bye <laughs> <laughs> So where is the shower at? It's over there. So these lines are like ran underneath this joist that we still need to replace. The, the wood is on order. I want them to go up here, but I don't. I didn't get a three quarter inch, 90 degree fitting for both of them. So I'm still gonna run the lines up to the shower. And then whenever I get those fittings, I can just clip them and then do it and then go up and then get these lines to be higher up in the air so they're not dangling down and looking. So you can't see them really. It's a work in progress. <laughs> All right, let's go. To our viewers, absolutely everything makes sense. To me, sure. Well, I think it's pretty obvious who does the piping in this relationship. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Water lines are done. Uh, this is where the island's gonna go, as we've told you before. So that's the hot and the cold. The drain hole is right there. We still have to do the drain. We're gonna start that on the next video. If you walk with me over here, I put this outlet box in today too, so that's done. Uh, the bathroom, the shower lines are in hot and cold. The sink lines are in right here hot and cold. We still have to do the drain for that. And once I frame in the shower surround, then we'll do, drill a hole for the drain. It'll drain over here and then it'll come over and we're gonna have a vent that goes up and out the roof or out the ceiling. And that's gonna be our one vent for this whole cabin, which is a whole 800 square feet. Should be good to go. <laughs> I feel like Farmer John with my like, like my overalls on. on. My black ones are super dirty. <laughs> yeah, they are. They've got paint and everything on them. I don't even know how you got paint on them. Anyway, with the plumbing's all done, guys, we're super stoked to have that done. And the kids are in the car playing with the iPads right now just because it's, yeah, it's, we woke up super early and it's icy out today. I didn't want them to fall down or something. Yeah. No? No. Oh. Mean, it's their kids. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys liked our plumbing install, water line side. We still have to do the drains and all that, but that'll be next video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in a few days. See you in a few days.